Hey, hi there. How you doing? Uh, technical difficulties, sorry about that. Forgive me, I'm not ready for work, but um, it just dawned on me. Good morning, hello. How many of you, after losing a lot of weight and all of your clothes are shrinking and things you can't wear and can't fit into, you still keep your comfy, cozy robe or wrap or sweats or sweatshirt, something like that. Me, me, this robe, I used to fill it out quite, uh, I, I filled it out. And, and now it wraps me up like a comfy, cozy blanket and I love it. So hey, today uh, I'm trying a couple of things new again and um, I will show you my whole day. The thing is, is my husband thinks that he's fixing to get sick. So I'm bombing him with um, sea salt, apple cider vinegar, cayenne pepper. I make this tea that without the salt, um, but I make this tea and he drinks that or he makes a shot and kind of drinks that down because we're trying to get out any bug in him because we leave on Saturday for a vacation and um, I don't want to fly sick and I don't want him to fly sick because that's just horrible, horrible. So today um, we are, I'm just showing you what I have for my day at work and oh my gosh, so Again, this is a lot of calories to me and a lot of portions, so I will probably adjust it throughout the day. But right now, I have my calories at 906. What? That's like how I set my goal for the whole day. Um, so if I do nine, another hundred and something calories for dinner and snack, duh, I will, I'm sure. Um, then when I press that little button on my fitness pal that says complete my diary, it won't give me that big flashing red, you haven't done enough for the day thing. Uh, it still does log it, but it just flashes that warning at you and just ignore it. Just, just ignore it and do what you know you need to do for your body. So calories are at 906. Proteins, uh, it could be a little higher. Uh, is at 53, so remember, I still have dinner and my evening snack. My carbs, though, ah, they're at 94 just for the day. So that's like double what I normally do. So I'm thinking supper tonight is just gonna be meat and vegetables, meat and vegetables. Um, and that's usually what we do at night anyway, something lighter um, on the tummy, so that'll work. Uh, and then my fats are at 48, so um, that's okay, a little high too, but not that much. So let me show you what today is, and what is today? Number 17. <gasps> I've been showing you 17 different days. Is that crazy? Well, here's 17. Let me show you. So because um, hubby woke up in the middle of the night and told me about him not feeling well, I'm definitely adding the apple cider vinegar to my morning routine. So my morning routine normally is eight ounces of G2 because for my body, I require six glass, six eight ounce glasses of, of liquid water, whatever. And right in the morning, I knock out two pretty easy eight ounces of G2 and I first get up in the morning and I add my probiotic which this one says it's for women and and I guess that's okay but the only reason why I use this one is because I can break open the capsule and put it in my liquid and then I add one of these little one ounce cups anywhere from half to up to here of the apple cider vinegar and FYI for you Hey, my canker sore is doing so much better because of two things. One, the apple cider vinegar, and two, gargling with warm salt water. So if you use apple cider vinegar, you wanna make sure you have one that has the mother in it. And that's this stuff floating around the bottom that you think, ew, gross, there's something wrong with my apple cider vinegar. No, no, that's good for you, you want that. So I just kinda tip it up and down a couple of times 
not real vigorous, just a little bit like that. And then I pour it in here and I pour it in my cup in the morning. Um, I was going somewhere with that. Don't know. Maybe it'll come back to me. Hmm. Oh, I, okay, not everybody can use apple cider vinegar uh, because of the acid in it. If you do have acid reflux or you have GERD, um, this will not be your friend. No way, shape, or how. Even if you make it into a tea, which when we're sick, I do equal amounts, apple cider vinegar and raw honey in about six, six to eight ounces of water, of warm water, hot water, whatever you can drink as a tea. But if you've got acid reflux, this will not be your friend. Me, I have low acid in my tummy. So I don't have to take all of those Oprimazole, Prilosec, whatever all those things are called. I don't have to take them because I need the acids in my stomach and this is what helps kind of move them along and generate them up. So I had that this morning about six o'clock, uh, 6.30, quarter to seven, um, seven-ish. I then make my tea and my morning tea today is Earl Grey and I always do um, my Gene Pro. I kind of make it a, um, I call it like a protein balm tea. I, I mix my Gene Pro up first in room temperature water, blend it, then I add it to my hot tea. And today I added, um, I went kind of back to one of my first original extra flavoring things. And it's this sugar-free uh, vanilla caramel. And I like it, it's really good. One teaspoon is totally enough. Um, today I did two, just cause I wanted that extra little flavor. And then I do a tablespoon of coconut oil. The reason why I do the coconut oil is kind of, again, several reasons, but one of them, uh, because this is a way for me to get in some healthy fats. It works in combination with the probiotic which helps my tummy kind of do what it's supposed to do and move down through my system um, like it should and you know helps push things out like it should. But also my chiropractor told me when I complained about my skin being so dry, he said just add a tablespoon of coconut oil in your day. And that's what I did and I feel so much better. So that is my morning routine. That's kind of what's already happened. Now, today at work, I'm gonna have all this crazy stuff. Ah, uh, what do you think? Move it up a little. Uh, we have this fun store near us called um, Smart and Final, and that's where I get all these little containers. There's a one ounce, a two ounce, and this is a five ounce. I get them all there because you get them in bulk and they end up being about five to six cents um, each with the lid. Uh, you can get the same thing at Walmart and they average out about six, six and a half cents each. You can even find them at the dollar store and they too end up being about six, almost seven cents each, but hey, you can get them right away that way. So today, uh, for my first snack, I'm going to have, I measured out, oh my gosh, this looks like, that is a humongous portion. Humongous. This is one and a half ounces of this cereal. It's called Oats and More, and it's the store brand from there. And the reason I did it is because for their serving, it says six grams of sugar. And my um, nutritionist lady from Kaiser told me anything I have, just make sure that per serving, it's under six grams or less of sugar. So I try really hard to stay with that. Sometimes I do eight, but I try to do six or less. So I have a trick with my cereal and I have a half a cup or four ounces of unsweetened almond milk that I'm gonna do. This is a trick, oh my gosh. This is my cereal bowl that I use because look, it's just tiny. It's really tiny, but this bowl I'll fill with ice water. I'll put some ice in here and some water. Then I put this bowl on top of it. Then I add my milk. Now my milk is gonna stay cold for my whole bowl of cereal. What? Yes. It takes me at least 30 minutes to eat 
one ounce. And this is one and a half. So we'll see what happens. So at least 30 minutes and my milk got warm and icky the last time. So I do this, then it stays cold. My other trick is the milk is in here and I put, I just kind of grab like this a handful and pour it in. Maybe two handfuls, kind of let it soak in there. Then it's not going to get overly soggy, but just enough for me. And then I eat that. When that runs low, I add a couple other little pinches, eat it, and that way my cereal isn't soggy and my milk isn't warm for my whole meal. What? Crazy, huh? But it works for me. That's what I like. So it does. Now lunch. Lunch is going to be a little wonky and a little challenging. What I've done, remember yesterday that amazing company I couldn't think of in my head for nothing? It is called Thin Slim Foods. I don't know if you can see that with the light kind of weird. Right there. Can you see it? Thin Slim Foods. This bread, one whole slice, only has 50 calories, but it has nine grams of fiber, seven grams of protein, what? And only one net carb, can you believe it? Here's the actual details of that as well and what they have in there. The only place I can find this product from this company is online. They offer a sample basket or a box or whatever you want to call it. And that's what I ordered. So in my sample box, I was going for the bread. So I got a whole loaf of bread and then I got a huge package of fettuccine. And I accidentally threw that bag away because I wanted to put it all in an airtight container. But I have a picture of it, so I'll post that down below so you can see that. So today, I measured out one ounce. Look how much that is too. And, and mind you, if I don't eat all of this and I leave some aside, it either becomes snack for later, lunch for tomorrow, or I throw it in the trash. I, I, I don't care. One ounce of the fettuccine. Then I found this at the Dollar Tree. And it's pretty amazing. It's only 80 calories for a quarter of a cup, but better yet, look at this, less than one gram of sugar. Hello. So I thought I would try it. I don't know what it's gonna taste like, we'll see. And then I normally only do a quarter of a piece of the bread, um, and I can truly almost say because of the pasta, I either won't eat the bread at all, or I will only eat a quarter of it, but I'm bringing it just in case. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some of this spreadable butter, I have a tablespoon of the butter, and then I'm gonna sprinkle some of this Mrs. Dash because I like the flavor, it tastes good. It's something a little different than garlic, but it gives it that extra umph to have with this kind of Italianish type meal. So I put this Mrs. Dash on it and then I'll put it in, we have a toaster oven at work. I'll put it in the toaster oven and get it nice and toasty. And then I will cut it up. Remember, I use my pinky as a guide and I'll cut it up into, so one, two, three, I'll do it in four. I'll probably do that into eight bites. That'll be eight bites right there. So if I did the whole thing, that'd be 16. And I, I just can't see me doing that. But anyway, so I have two ounces, um, which is a quarter cup of the fettuccine sauce or Alfredo sauce. And I have one ounce of canned chicken. So I'm just going to make my own little chicken fettuccine and some bread. There you have it. And then my snack for the rest of the day is going to be what I had left over from yesterday. Because remember, I had a feeling it was going to happen. But in here, I have like a chicken salad that is um, canned chicken. Can you see that? Canned chicken, hard boiled egg, sweet relish, some mayo, and some chia seeds. And this was really super good yesterday, but I could only eat half of it. It was so filling. And I only ate half of my crackers that I had with it. From these, I accounted for 20 yesterday. I only ate 10. So today I'll have the other 10. And then I only ate half of the onion with it. So 
I'll add that on there to it today too. Now, mind you, let me find my spoon that I still have stuff on. When I eat, I found a really small spoon and this is similar to my spoon that I use at work. And when I have a bite, I truly, I truly only put that much on. It matches my thumbnail. My thumbnail came off. It matches my thumbnail or even pinky nail. You, your bites should still be tiny. Your tummy's tiny. Remember, you're feeding a toddler in you now. Tiny bite, tiny tummy. That's what you want. And then, of course, my liquids, my other liquids. So I've had two over there. There's my honey. Then I'm gonna have two um, glasses of tea throughout the day and two glasses of water. Um, one on the way to work, one on the way home. I've sweetened it with this non, <laughs> with this non, uh, no sugar mango, which is awesome. And then I'm finishing my tea now. So there you have it. That is my whole day all my liquids and I usually end up having more at night so I don't really freak about it my snacks my lunch my snacks and my morning and so there you have it that is my whole day at work and all of that all those little containers do fit in my little lunch bag which is over there and um, I just stick it in the fridge at work and I pull out from it as I go and I don't have a backup for lunch in case that sauce doesn't work. Yes, I do. I have nuts and jerky like always in my purse, in my desk, in my drawer, always everywhere. But there you have it. That's my day. Um, hopefully it turns out good. Hey, good morning. And, um, Feel free, if you have an idea, if you have a question, if you tried any of these and they didn't work for you, or you tried something different and it did work for you, I'm totally game for trying something. However, warning, time out, warning, 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 warning. When you're new, don't be trying all kinds of wonky stuff. You stick to whatever it is the doctor told you to have and to eat. Stick, stick to that list. I'm telling you, from experience, I'm telling you, don't go out of bounds, don't try to wing something because someone six months, seven months, eight months out tried something. When you're brand new, you're feeding an infant tummy. You're feeding a baby's tummy. You would not give a brand new baby steak and eggs. You wouldn't, I wouldn't, even blitzed up you wouldn't do it because their tummy can't take it, right? And you wouldn't be feeding a baby a bite that goes like this, right? Why? Because their tummy can't take it. Your tummy is the same way. My tummy is the same way. You have got to treat it like a baby and or toddler tummy. You have to. That's the way to be successful. That's the way to get healthy. That's the way to stay slim. If you start reverting back to old habits and old behaviors, yeah, your tummy, your sleeve, your tool, your bypass, your RNY, your whatever you've had done is going to do its job for the first six, seven, eight months. But then after that, hey, your body is going to take all that extra stuff and it's gonna put it in places that you don't want it to be, right? So remember, think of yourself as a baby or a toddler tummy. You want small bites, small portions, healthy options, and when you're brand new, when your tummy, your tool is brand new, oh my gosh, please stick to the simple, bland stuff. Um, you can incorporate things in later, and sometimes, for a lot of us, you can eat scrambled eggs and they're yummy day one. Day two, your tummy says, nope, don't want that. So then you gotta do something like malt oatmeal. I personally tried oatmeal, tummy didn't like it. Still doesn't like it, it's nine months out. Um, but I can eat malt oatmeal. So go, go figure, I don't know, it's weird. It's life. 
But there you have it. That's my day. Kind of a tip. Please, 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 please be kind to yourself. Be kind to your tummy. Listen to what your tummy is telling you and what your body's craving and somehow incorporate that in. If you're craving crazy vegetables that you knew you never liked before, blitz them up and make a smoothie and add a little bit of fruit in there. Hello! Then you're going to get your nutrients that your body is craving and that you need. So that's how I do it. That's what I do. I love you. I do. And I'm so praying for you. And oh my gosh, today is Tuesday. <gasps> there's several of you that are actually having surgery today. What? And there's several going in tomorrow. What? So no, please know that I, along with a lot of other people, are praying for you because we've been there. And we know what it's like. We know the, the anxious excitement everything the everything that goes on we know we totally know and we can relate so I just want to send you on your way lovingly and let you know that um, you've got someone watching over your doctors and your nurses and that you're gonna be good okay have a great day I will talk to you later bye and I will post a picture of that um, thin slim food stuff down below okay have a great day How can you tell when your tummy doesn't like something? Two ways. A, it'll growl and be um, angry. <laughs> it'll, it'll, if it's just growling and sounding like, wow, like, you know, a hundred tummies in there, it's just processing. And that's okay. It's okay. My tummy is so loud now, people around me hear it and it's kind of funny. I don't care. Um, I tell them my tummy's talking. If it's just growling, it's processing. However, if you get kind of this growling and then you get like a, like a pain or a cramp or a tightness or it feels like it's coming back up, that means tummy doesn't like it. Honey, really? Oh, I gotta get, I gotta get ready for work. It tummy doesn't like it, but I've made a mistake. I usually take another bite just to test it, <laughs> make sure. Um, and, and, and you just learn, you just learn, okay, it's not liking it today and you push it aside, have something different and then try it again tomorrow or a couple days later. It just could be how your body's healing and the different things that are going on and the different nutrients that are going through your body. Some days it likes stuff and some days it doesn't. So just, you'll, you'll learn for you what the real signal is. Of, of it not liking it um, but it usually involves it feeling like it's coming back up here and restricting your throat and being pretty gross so um, okay for reals gotta go I'll answer all of the questions on my breaks and I will talk to you later